Well, what's going on, YouTube? This is what would Josh do, and I've got an unboxing to do from IOTI, or I IOTI. If I'm saying that wrong, I do apologize. Um, they sent me a little car charger and a little dock for your phone, but uh, I had, and both the boxes feel, this one feels a little bit heavier, so it might be this box. But if I pick the right box, then this will be something that goes to my second channel. In fact, I just uploaded a video to my second channel where my dra uh, bearded dragon ate a cicada. And uh, if, you, uh, if you're into like lizards and stuff like that, then you need to check that video out. I will link to it in the description below. You might have to click the little text that says show more to expand the description to see all the links, but there will be a link to that video and to this product right here and then this one too. So let's begin, let's go ahead and open this up. Uh, I'm excited about this because this car dock, uh, I've used an IOD one touch one in the past and I really liked it, but I like the one I'm using now even better because I can put a phone with an extended battery in there and it fits perfectly. But this one might, might actually be better for the uses that I'm going to be using this one for. I do plan on using this one as a, uh, like a, like a car dash camera thing for my phone to go in. So let's just, <laughs> I'm having trouble opening this up. So in here, I got the right one. So on my second channel, I will unbox this one and do a quick little video on it. So here we go. It is called the Easy View 2. Let you just get a look at that, and then on the back of it, it just shows you like sticky gel, air gap, grip fit locking features, securely fits a phone from two to 3.5 inches wide, super sticky gel pad. Yeah, so let's go ahead and open this up. I, I like it because you know you just set your phone in it, and it's not like you gotta, uh, you'll, you'll see. All right, what's a little bit of difficulty? I did get that open. That tape was on there pretty good. Let's pull this out, take a look at this, see what you get in the box, it's empty. You get a little product line thing that shows you like all the stuff they have. Uh, you can get 20% off with the little coupon that's in there. In fact, I will go ahead and share that with one of my viewers. Obviously, this code may be only usable once. Uh, so if you are the first one to use it, good for you. If it works more than once, even better. So. And then you get like a little thing that shows you how to wash it. So if it gets sticky or like dirty and it doesn't stick anymore, you can clean it. It's absolutely beautiful. It's awesome. And then we're going to open this up. There we have it. So one of the biggest phones out right now. I know it's not the biggest. The freaking Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Man, I want that thing so bad. I believe it has a bigger screen than this thing. But uh, so you stick it in there like this. And the reason I'm most excited about this is the fact that look. When it's on your dash like this, the camera is right there. The camera's not being blocked. On the two uh, ones that I've used in the past, it was like the entire back of it would block the camera from seeing. But with this one, I can have it up in my, on my, I have a little spot in my car to put it, or I can put it on the window and still record out my lens right there. And if you have a phone that has optical image stabilization, like we're getting the Note 4 when that comes out next month, and that will have optic image stabilization, so you'll be able to get a very clean, you know, video while you're using this as a dash cam in case you, you know, <laughs> want to record yourself driving around or, you know, like if somebody hits you and you were recording and it was their fault, they can't lie and get out of it, so... This part, you just go ahead and pull this back and it reveals the stickiness. Uh, it says sticky suction mount made in Korea, removed before use. So this, which, wow, that's, it's like one of those traps for like spiders or something. That is super, super sticky. You can maybe see my thumbprint in there a little bit. Dude, that is really, really sticky and you can clean it. So let's go ahead and put this in my car, take a little test drive. I'm going to be using my Nexus 5 because it's the only phone I know of right now that I have in my possession that has optical image stabilization. So we're going to go ahead and test all that out now. All right, I got my little microphone here so you can hear me better because it wouldn't pick up my voice very good where it's at right now. So we're in a car here. Here's the IOTI one touch mount thing. I used this thing for a very long time until I found a mount that would allow me to fit a my Note 3 with a 10,000 milliamp hour extended battery on there. As you can see, there's just there's not much clearance there uh, at all. So uh, with this one right here, looks like we get a little bit more clearance. I still might not be able to use it with a uh, extended battery, but we'll uh, we'll we'll try it out. 
Uh, obviously, you can stick it right here on your windshield if you'd like to, but my car has this nice little flat surface right here that's uh, perfect for mounting something. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick it like right here in the middle and then latch it down. And wow, that I feel like before this comes off, this right here will get torn out. Like it is in there really, really good. So I've got my HTC One M8 here with a OtterBox case on it that makes it quite bigger than it normally is, and it's fitting on there just fine. I do wish that it would come down just a little bit more towards me, like it's at a little bit of a slanted angle, like where my eyes aren't resting on it, like it's like this, for example. Well, more like this. So this part right here bends, that's as far as it will bend back. If I want it better than that, Oh my, that's on there really, really good. You know what? I'm just going to leave it there for now. <laughs> but if I wanted it at a better angle, I could mount it on my windshield, and then I would be able to position it at a better angle. Now, the cool thing is, is if you have an app that only works in portrait mode, like if you're recording one of those vertical videos, <laughs> Google PSA Vertical Video Syndrome. You will laugh your butt off. But So you can have your phone like this and... Use your navigation, Google Play Music, you know, whatever you're doing. This is pretty cool. I'm going to test this out and see how well it records video while driving around. I might need to move it up there. We will find out. You see how easy it is just to switch the orientation of it, and now it's in landscape. Taking your phone off takes just a second. Putting it on takes a second, too. Oh, and this is also something else I just realized. It does raise up a bit like that, and... You still can't move it very much towards you where like right now it's not it's I'm recording a lot of my dashboard and I'm not able to point it up just a little bit more to record the road. So I am going to have to move it onto my windshield in order to record the road better. So let's go ahead and move it around now. That is actually on there so good that it's a little bit scary. All right, I did get it off. <laughs> <laughs> not the easiest thing in the world, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't want a mountain that's going to fall down on you while you're driving. There we go. Now it's up in our windshield. We can go ahead and take our thing, move this around like this, and stick this on there. And there we go. Now I can get a very good shot at the road. I can go ahead and put my Nexus 5 in there since it has optic image stabilization, and I'll drive around and do a little test recording. All right, so the video is going to be a little bit different because it's only recording in 1080p on my Nexus 5 right now. So uh, it's going to have to be blown up. My Sony 4K camera that I recorded the previous footage with is in 4K. So it's twice the picture as 1080p. Uh, so yeah, you're going to get an example of how it's like driving around in Kansas City and bumps and stuff like that. So we're going to see how well this handles. You're seeing a little bit of the mount, but I could probably... Uh, make that a little bit better, but then I might lose the stability. I can tell you right now on this trip the mounts actually the phones moved just a tiny little bit the whole time. There's very any shaking at all. So my Nexus 5 shouldn't have to do very much uh, optical image stabilization. So I, I'm very very impressed with how sturdy this mount is when connected to my dashboard right now. There are all these little bitty bumps in the road and unlike my other mounts, my phone's not jittering and vibrating really bad. So this is actually quite pleasant. And if I move this just a little bit, there, there we go. Now, um, obviously there's a lot of construction going on around here, so <laughs> gotta be a little bit careful. And uh, some people don't like the longer videos, some people do. Uh, I'm, I'm including this because, you know, personally I wanted this mount for this feature. You know, driving around and, you know, if something happens and it's not your fault, you know, you don't have to pay for it because you have proof that you didn't do it. I'm just trying to adjust this a little bit. Sorry about that. So, if, if um, that dude would have hit me or something and I had a green light, it would have been, you know, his fault. It would have been all on video. I need to get over in a second here, so wait for this light to turn green. My little three-cylinder has to get on Broadway. And I've, <laughs> I doubt my three-cylinder will beat this Tundra. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a Honda. It's a Honda truck. You don't see too many Honda trucks these days. 
Or at least I don't. Let's see if I can pass him. <laughs> Poor little engine. It's trying very hard. Oh man, that's, these roads are not that, that great. The optic image stabilization is doing pretty good on these harder paths right here. And the Nexus 5 records very, very, very well in low light. I need to get over. Oh man, that was a big bump. I don't know how well that picked up or, or didn't pick up on there. That's pretty awesome. All right, well, that's about it for this video. Now I'm doing interstate driving. Uh, another really cool thing is I wanted to use this for time-lapse So like uh, there's built-in functions on AOSP ROMs to do time-lapse Or you can download an app that will let you do it and the app will let you like choose way more settings Or you could just use the camera switch it to video and change it to time-lapse And you can do a little time-lapse of you driving around In fact, you know what? I'll include that at the very end if you want to stick around and watch that But uh as always, if you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Please leave a comment letting me know what you think of this mount. I'm freaking using this as a dash cam right now. So if something happens and it's not my fault, I have proof of it. If somebody cuts somebody off and gets into an accident, uh, I can just stop, show the footage to the police, and, you know, it's pretty clear cut who hit who. So please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.